Who wouldn't love a game where we get to send cats into battle for our profit? A little bit slowly at first, albeit, but don't worry, we're gonna pick up the pace. For now, I'm just gonna send cat after cat in to fight the dogs. They're having a bit of a tough time, so let's send in a tank. Probably should have started with a tank to absorb some of that damage, then with the little attacky cats in behind it. I mean, I feel like we're winning, but not by a great deal, and I want to be winning by, like, a lot. But now that my tank is pushing forward to the front of the pack, we're gonna start to push them back, and I'll throw another tank out there as well. So not only do we get to murder each and every one of them, but we destroy their very home so no one can ever live there again. And there we go, 1680 experience. And that means I've unlocked Axe Cat. Then with our experience, let's get cat production speed and also more money increased. Every time we kill something, we get more money for more cats. Also, let's upgrade Axe Cat because I assume it's good because it's new. And then Tank Cat. This is just the beginning. We just conquered China. Apparently, we're into Thailand now with our cats. Axe Cat is pretty expensive, so I'm going to start with the tank right away to start pushing them back or at least eating some of that damage. So by the time he's there, we're going to have another one running up behind him to kind of step up the damage a little bit. We're going to throw a few of those out. I've just realized I only can save up 100 cents at a time, so I can't even afford an axe cat right now. Wait, we're working our way up there. I've just got to level it up. We can do 150 cents now. Now we can afford an axe cat. And there it is galloping up the rear with an axe bigger than its head. And it looks like it's doing pretty well because it actually knocks the enemies way back, which pushes us forward straight into their base. And they really want to hold on to that base. Again, we're winning, but we're not winning by enough of a margin that makes me happy. Though we do now have like 10 cats sitting right on their doorstep just demolishing their soul. Another victory, 2000 experience. So let's, I don't know, see what we can do to kind of step up our progress. Is there a word for animal genocide? because I feel like I just purchased Animal Genocide. Well, for now we got about 300,000 experience and that seems like lots considering the level just awarded us 2,000 for beating it. So I guess we'll get the Cat God because that sounds important. Then I guess we'll just upgrade some of our cats for now. I spent about 80,000 experience just bringing a lot of things up to level five. Let's start with that. My rate of income and everything seems to be going up rather quickly now. We can already afford those two and already another cat. So I think we're well ahead of the curve already. Plus right from the beginning, I have 500 cents uh, cap to work with so I can afford lots of units if I want them and look how fast they come out we're already pushing them way back these guys are not going to have a very enjoyable round I feel like I just started and we're already tearing down their base and this cannon can almost hit their base I actually might have so we'll send in more axe cats just to finish the job quickly plus apparently if I touch uh this thing it's called the cat god it comes down to help right so apparently we'll take this uh baby boom Okay, thank you for that. Really needed your help here. Didn't feel like I was going to win this one. Are you giving me extra helpers? Because I didn't really need extra helpers, but I would take them. That would be a lot of fun. Well, whatever the case, we've already won. There's another 2600 experience. So if I need any more experience at any point, I can spend only 1500 cat boots and get 2 million experience. We're just going to get straight into the next level because I'm impatient. Basically, that's going to look like this uh, until it looks like this. And then they're going to die basically instantly. And then we're on to bigger, better things. That unlocked us a ninja cat, which we're going to take. Plus, we also have something called gross cat able to do very powerful long range attack. So we're definitely going to take that and upgrade it to maybe, I don't know, level 10, which apparently changes the cat's class. It's now Sexy Legs Cat, and I didn't know that was a thing, so let's upgrade a few more of these to level 10. So Tank Cat turned into Wall Cat, uh, Axe Cat turned into Brave Cat, uh, Basic Cat, I don't know what's going to turn into, we might need more experience for that. Macho Cat. So I guess we'll put these into battle just to see exactly how they're going to hold up. We're going to let him go out first. The Long Legs Cat cost 400 cents all by itself, but look how much tougher they look now. This is going to be great. And that's horrifying but probably also very strong so i'm very happy it's here to join us and we've got some kind of hippo fighting back uh so that seems a little bit stronger but i think with all my units currently we're gonna walk right on through it all uh right seems to be doing lots of damage it doesn't strike very often but when it does there's some damage coming out so we're gonna add one more of those since i'm too lazy to strategize i'm just gonna go raw numbers oh it's dead anyway no we're gonna tear the base down probably very quick yeah the long leg cat does huge damage when it hits another easy victory and for beating that we get special rewards and apparently platinum tickets are a thing you get a hundred percent chance to get an uber rare cat and that sounds like something we need to take advantage of because i like rare stuff so i got uber super rare i'm not really sure what that means but i think it's probably going to be better than my current cats now let's try more of a regular roll to see if we can get something rare out of this as well well we got a basic rare that's uh basically a pirate now we have what's called a starter special i feel like i'm a starter so let's just do this and then we're going to see what we get. Look at them all. Come on, something amazing. There's a super rare. 
Again, I'm not sure how these stack, but I'll take all the super rares I can find. And an uber super rare doesn't really look like a cat anymore. I did also find one that's literally a toaster. And I'm not even sure what this is now, but we're getting something. And these new uber super rare whatevers cost a lot of money, so I'm going to have to upgrade myself. Which means that I'm probably going to need a little more experience, so let's just go for 2 million. I assume that's the best deal. So my wallet is now max level. So is my accounting. So we're going to find out what Australia thinks of my new units. It is going to take a minute before I have enough space to be able to even afford the new cats, but not too long. I'm just going to send a few basic ones out there just to kind of stall things. It's also going to be very hard to afford those super cats, but we're going to get there. 3,000 cents. Not to worry though, I am watching. If they break through my defenses, I'm going to hit them with the cannon and see what happens. Two of my tanks have died, so I'm going to bring a, uh, another one in, and I don't care. They can sit there right in the middle and battle forever. I need to see these new cats. All right, here we go with the new uber super rare whatever it is. That looks like it does not belong here at all. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be uh, really disproportionate to the damage everyone else is doing right now. So we'll put another tank in front so this one doesn't take too much damage. Though I suspect it's probably incredibly strong in all ways. Yeah, I feel like every time it actually hits something, those things die very quickly. Like, for example, this. And it bounced the snake back. There's still a pirate cat out there too. I don't know what he does. I'm also going to wait for another 3,000 cents to afford the other uber super rare whatever it is. But I think by the time we get there we might actually have the level beat. Because that one thing is doing so much damage. Uh, It actually just one-shotted the building once I got there. So that's kind of interesting and working very well. I wonder how many more of those we can get. It takes money to make money. We're spending more. And we got another uber super rare. You can always tell just by the way they look. And cat food seems to be the currency of choice. That's how I unlock new rare cats. And I want something even rarer, so we're gonna buy a little bit more. And that seems like it's enough to buy at least 22 new cats. Okay, and here's the rarity rate. A rare is 70%, super rare is 1 in 4, uber super rare is 1 in 20, but there's something even rarer. It's like almost 1 in 1,000, which is why I'm buying 11 of these at a time. Well, I got another uber super rare, so I'll take that at least. And another uber super rare. It's something riding a vacuum cleaner. Now to try and figure out uh, how to put these all in properly. I might have also done that wrong and not actually unlocked them because I didn't choose to select them. Not entirely sure what happened there, but that's okay. We can get more. All I know is that I should probably upgrade one of these. This was the more expensive one, so I'm going to assume it's better. Let's see if we can get that to level 10 with our current experience. That's probably going to make it pretty strong. And then let's do the same for our pirate cat. He deserves an upgrade too. He is now Captain Cat. Now we're going to do basically the same strategy as last time. We're going to put out a few tanks just to stall them while we save up enough for my super level 10, uh, whatever it was, mega legendary. I think three tanks should be enough for now because they're just sending out the basic dogs. Well, this is actually kind of disappointing. My three tanks are ash actually pushing their lines back so far. Starting to wonder if these tanks would be enough to actually defeat this. Anyways, that's not going to matter because we're going to send in this giant thing, which again, still looks very out of place, but that's because it's so much more powerful than everything else. So the last time we did this, we had a level one out there. This one is a level 10, so it should be a lot stronger. Not sure what it does. Okay, it smashes a hammer down and probably destroys absolutely everything on the ground. So we're going to leave it just with this. Every time it attacks, it takes out multiple units all at once. And that really helps me because we're going to push our line way back. While we're at it, we're going to throw the other uber super rare thing out and then also pirate cat just for fun. So now we're doing like double super damage and I'm pretty sure as soon as these guys touch that base, it's over for them. Pretty sure I got this one in the bag, but anything could happen. Look at him and his cannon. That's going to be fun. I don't think he's going to get a chance to fire it though. Come on, cannon attack. Do your thing. We're getting closer. Uh, if this hits their base, it might be over. Oh, there goes the cannon. There we go. Better late than never. Yeah, we're doing massive damage to their base. I just realized we need this at level 10 so we can have a better rate of income. Anyways, we need more cat food uh, for more rare unlocks. So now we get to buy another 33. Okay, I get it now. All of the cats go into cat storage. So they take up space in there and I need to clear it out before getting more. So we're going to put our new uh, top level ones into use. Uh, and we're going to exchange some of these for experience because they can actually be worth a lot and I don't know what a lot of these do but I need about uh 10 spaces. Anyways, let's go for another 11. I did get another uber super rare and I'm pretty sure I already have this one because that's the one I'm using now so I don't think we need two of them. 
We get 1 million experience for that, so why not? Then I kind of want to see what Cutter Cat is uh, capable of, so we're going to upgrade him to level 10 and throw him into battle with us. And then we're going to use Thundia, who's a uber super rare, all the way to level 10, because uh, she has an area of effect attack, and I really need some of that. Alright, and that's pretty much going to be the same strategy as it was before. Put a few tanks out there just to stall for long enough for me to bring out the big guns, and this new one's going to be the most expensive one yet. Maybe while I'm at it, I'm going to bring out the new Power Saw Cat, which looks something like that, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, that might be a bit overkill for right now though. Uh, yeah, we're already to their base, so I probably overdid it a little bit on the power. Oh wait, that's new. That might be strong enough. Never mind. Well, there's always a next level. At the very least, we're going to bring the new one in. I don't know if they're going to... No, they're not even going to make it there before that base is destroyed. We won too quickly. This is a problem. Okay, this time I'm not going to bring in the saw cat. I'm going to wait for the big one to come in. I'm only going to throw two of these out for now too so they don't push back too far. Even just these two are enough to hold them all the way back to the line. Wow, look at that. They actually broke through my wall. Uh, I'm going to hit them with another tank and then a super strong unit once they get to about there. I'm going to see if these two units can push them all the way back. Okay, here we go. There's a $3,000 unit and it definitely doesn't look like a cat anymore. And I think this one's going to be pretty good for us. It doesn't move super quick uh, or attack super often, but when she does things die. That would be a good chance to try out the cannon too. Hmm, that works pretty well. We're gonna hit this one little creature with a massive explosion. While we're at it, we're gonna bring in the other super strong unit and they can work together and I'll put a little wall up so they're a little bit more protected. I suspect they probably have more health and tankiness than the actual tanks, but until I'm sure of that, we're gonna keep rolling like this. I think I have three units currently in play and it just it's way too strong. Like I'm just walking through everything they have. And before I could even acknowledge the base, we destroyed it. So there's 5,800 experience. So that's pretty great. And apparently I'm allowed to open one rare cat capsule. I'm not holding out hopes. Well, it's a super rare. It's a cat in a bath. They love that, so we're going to turn that into experience and move on. Our original super uber rare is still only level 1, and that won't do at all. So let's bring this one up to level 10. And then it's going to turn into a uh, Assault Unit REI, who is then going to assist us on this level eventually. The beginning always takes so long, but then once my units get rolling, we absolutely get rolling. And let's bring in this guy now, who looks much improved. And I think he's probably going to hit very, very hard. I think he only can hit one unit at a time, but he's actually got a pretty good attack rate. Or it's maybe just not necessarily an area of effect, because he didn't hit that dog there at all. But somewhere like here, there's a few enemies he should hit all at once. Yeah, so he can hit like an individual spot. Yeah, he's pretty strong, because I'm pretty sure this is going to hit the base. Nope, it didn't hit the base. The next one might, though, because he's getting very close. And once it starts to hit the base, we're going to do a lot of damage. So it had 3,900 health and he one-shotted it. And our other super strong thing didn't even get a chance into battle. I did get another rare ticket, so let's hope for a super secret rare. Instead, we got a wind-up bomb. So we're going to need just a few more tries. I want something extraordinarily rare. So what I just bought will get us pretty evenly 33 tries. 11 down, nothing yet. We should, over the 33, get at least one mega super rare. 22 tries down and nothing interesting, though we are up to 17 million experience, so that's got to be good for some. Something. 33 tries, not one single rare one. So I guess I just got uh, exceptionally lucky earlier by finding as many as I did because I've spent I think over $500 now and I regret nothing. Let's destroy someone else. A nice sandy beach. Perfectly nice place for a bloodbath. Though the enemies are getting stronger, like there's a lot of units coming my way. But if they do happen to bust through my uh, erasers, I'm going to hit them with the cannon. So far, they're still hanging out at the eraser. So let's bring in this, which is the area of effect. And that's going to help push the enemies a long ways back. Well, now it's just uh, her versus them. I'm going to put a tank out because I just really don't want her to die because she's really expensive. Not that I think there's going to be a problem with that. But just in case, you never know what's going to happen because I really don't know their stats. I just know that they do a lot of damage like that. They just took out like eight enemies all at once. And then she's going to have some backup from him, who's also going to do a lot of damage. So now we should march very happily all the way through to the end with nice big hits just like that. I really do want to get a third uh, uber rare involved. Oh, we lost Eraser Cat. We'll bring Eraser Cat in. But also another uber super rare. So there's 9,000 cents in units rolling forward. So I feel like from this point forward, it's going to be easy. We'll even bring a Pirate Cat in and then the uh, Power Cat. And then one of these and then one of these too. We're just going to march right on through everything. This is by far the most damage I've ever had pushing forward. And my units aren't even to the front line yet. But now they are. I like how fast that one charges forward to stop the enemy. That's good for advancing. And now we're basically at their base. There's one. There's no one left to try and defend. Uh, except for those things. I don't know what those are. 
but we also just destroyed them and the base all at once so we're feeling pretty powerful basically the same strategy but this time i'm going to try and push a little bit harder i'm going to try and get some units out there sooner to just plow right through their defenses and there's already a hippo in the desert i have a feeling that he's going to be a little bit of a problem for my tank cats he might actually be able to chew through them but will he be a match for pirate cat and his mighty cannon okay both my tanks are in fact down uh so we're going to send out also this guy too and then we're going to see what kind of damage this is going to do I have no idea who's going to win. Okay, well, clearly these are very strong units by themselves. Didn't really expect them to be able to do this. Uh, so it turns out these two are uh, enough to just walk right on through their defenses and hit for 700 damage at a time. And they're so quick. Oh, we got another hippo though, so he will delay them for just a moment, but probably not too long considering the amount of damage we have going out. Yep, he's dead. Oh, we can already bring in one of our uh, ultra units then. We'll bring in him because I like him the best. Never mind, we're done. I feel like they're going to be able to bust through my tanks, but that's okay because by the time they do, they're going to have to face one of my super units. That's it. Keep coming toward me. Walk towards your doom. Okay, we're going to hit them with the area of effect. Uh, cat, I guess we'll call it. But it doesn't really feel like a cat anymore. But we're going to see if she's enough to solo her way all the way through this for now. And I don't really know. I know she hits very hard. Well, it's enough to one-shot both of them combined, so I'm feeling pretty good about her odds. Though her attack rate is so slow in her forward movement that, like, it's going to be really hard for her to actually push back because the enemies will just keep spamming forward like that. So let's give her a little bit of backup. Between her and him, I think we'll go through this because he attacks fairly often, but he hits one spot at a time. Either way, whatever they hit, it's going to be a one-shot kill. I'm pretty sure of that. Like, this is going to hit the snake, then she's going to hit the warthog thing, and he's going to die... Oh, no, he actually pushed her back a little bit. I didn't realize that could happen. So you definitely do need a few units just kind of stalling them for forward movement. Because these two by themselves don't push forward very quickly. Because he just made a bunch of progress, but he still only got it halfway. And now they're both... She's going to waste her attack not making any forward movement, and they're already stalled again. It's just the snow inevitable, torturous grind of me plowing through their ranks straight into their base. And there's not a damn thing they can do about it. Oh, I looked away for one second, and they finished a the battle. So they're clearly overpowered. We did take damage to our base somewhere there, but that's okay. We won pretty handily. All right, Madagascar, we've conquered half the world. I guess you're left. And I'm not feeling particularly intimidated yet, but those little guys are good for pushing forward. Look how fast they are. Uh, that's okay. We can hit him with some of my fast units too. This guy's nice and fast. He's going to clip them. That claw's actually big enough. He could probably actually mulch them into jelly really quick. This might even be overpowered, like I might just roll through their entire base now. Yeah, all I really need to do in any one of these battles is just unleash this thing. And it just goes and chomps through everything at super speed, because even that's way overpowered. That's a new enemy though, it's a gorilla! Oh, and it can even absorb a hit from this! That's kind of interesting. Oh, okay, it's fighting back. We got a fight on our hands. Oh, interesting. I don't know what that means. But we destroyed the gorilla. They destroyed my thing. Maybe it's not as overpowered as I thought. That's okay. We can just pull out the big guns. I think they're actually close enough to be hurting my base at this point. So that's a little alarming. Nope, doesn't look like it. The base is still fine. They were just hurting my hero thing. They're very strong, but they make progress so slowly. But that's why you get two of them. They even are able to push my heroes back once in a while. And that's kind of annoying because we need every little bit of progress we can get because we're so damn slow. Actually, the uh, black and blue one moves a lot quicker so once he does get a chance he pushes forward and now we can have all three of them pushing forward and i feel like that's gonna help because they can kind of spread their attacks out and they won't all attack at once and then make no progress it's actually been so long that i brought in a second one of these so now we have two of them in play oh and we managed to hit their base so i guess it turns out that when you spend 500 dollars on battle cats it makes the game a little bit easy 